every single week, ladies, or power of engineering to find things on the DigiKey site. We call this the Great Search. Thanks, DigiKey, for making this happen. Lady what is the Great Search this week? Okay, so this week, um, I was just showing off a project I was building. It's a, a joystick adapter for retro PC joysticks, um, like the ones that would uh, have a five, 15 uh, pin connector that would plug into the back of your 486DX. Uh, and you would be able to play Commander Keen with a joystick uh, when, with your uh, Sound Blaster 16 sound card and joystick port, um, ISA card. Um, but there's a lot of people who want to use these retro adapters, so I thought, uh, retro joysticks, so I thought I'd make a little adapter. Um, but to connect to the joysticks, you need a uh, DE15 connector. So let's show what that is. First off, uh, my schematic, um, it's a two pin uh, two row, 15 pin uh, connector. It's a D sub style connector. And then um, this is the pin out I was just showing. And this is a project that has a similar uh, connector. So you can see it's this big uh, D sub here. And um, I want something very similar. I want it to be a right angle connector. I want it to be through hole. And if you look closely, I also want to have these like I don't know what they're called, like retention screws. They're like these little standoffs that are 440 size screws. And then this particular joystick that's plugged in doesn't have it, but a lot of joysticks have a little um, like thumb screws that you would use to mechanically like perma attach it. Um, this is a friction fit and it will friction fit just fine. But I think I'd like to have those little um, added standoffs um, just for mechanical security if you do want to have something that doesn't, uh, doesn't tear off. So. Let's, uh, so now that we know what we're looking for, it's a D sub DE connector and I want female. I want it to be, cause the, this is the plug part and this is the socket part. So I want the socket part. Uh, so let's go to DigiKey and we're gonna search for D sub connector. Um, so one thing that's fun is that I have the beta, which is uh, a, a, new, a new thing. Um, I've had the beta on for a bit, but it's actually like as of this week, it changed over. So if you're logged in, uh, do click try the beta if you want to try this out, because now uh, what's really neat is like they have um, pictures of the products and the interface is a little bit smoother and easier to use. Uh, so one thing that I like is before, like there would be a list, I'd be like, which one do I want? Um, now I can see I want uh, this one, the DSEP connector. I don't want the back shells and hoods. I don't want all these accessories. These are all the cables. I definitely want just this fella. Okay, so now, uh, you know, you can look. They can see the, the um, interface is a little bit rounder and there's like kind of drop shadows. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of different options here. So the first off, I want to specify, well, first off, I always like to specify active. So I'm only looking at what is currently available. And the number of positions, I'm gonna use the filter. Um, I only want 15. There's like, sometimes there's, whoa, 152. That's a huge D sub. Um, I only want 15. I think these are like stacked ones. Sometimes you can get like two, so it's like nine and 15. But I only want 15. So let's apply. That'll cut down from 150,000 down to 11,000. Uh, another thing to watch out for with, uh, D sub 15 and higher numbers is there's also a VGA standard, which I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Uh, there's a VGA port that uses 15 uh, pins, which is three rows of five, but we want two rows of seven and eight. So we do have to specify um, two rows. And I want, uh, remember I need sockets. I need the receptacle, which is with female sockets on it. So let's, let's, Cut that down. Um, so yeah, so this is basically what I want, but I want the through hole version, I want something like this. So let's look for right angle through hole. Um, there you go. So uh, let's see. I want right angle through hole. There's a couple of like, this is SMT through hole, I'll select that anyways. And then not board edge. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at these. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now we're, t now we're talking. 
Okay, so this is what I want. So you're seeing the images are starting to be, and here's actually something cool about D-sub connectors because I've just had to source these over, you know, the decades. Um, the pinout, the, the mechanical connection is like really standardized. Um, not This is not like USB connectors where um, I've noticed like just because something is a micro B USB connector or type C does not mean it's going to be pin compatible or socket compatible or hole compatible. With these subs, I found that 99% of the time, like these are all going to be, even from different suppliers, like this is Ampolite or you know, WR or whatever, they're all worth electronics or TE. They're all going to be pin compatible. So you just have to choose what like finish you want and whether you want like all the extras. So I'm gonna actually just go for stuff that's in stock and um, not marketplace because there's a lot of options. Here, why don't you hand me your phone? No. Uh, yeah. And thanks. Um, everybody wants. Right. Everybody wants to me to search for stuff for them. Yes. Um, okay. So next up, I do want. Let me see. There's so much going on here. Well, I do want to. Uh, well, I definitely want Rojas. So let me add that. Although they're all going to be Rojas. And then I want to search by price. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just like mouse over to find the cheapest one that does what I want. So this is this is like the correct type of connector, but you notice it doesn't have those um, standoff thingies. So I'm gonna just keep going down until I get to this one. So here I finally found one that has the um, standoff connectors. And again, you know, definitely check the data sheet, but anything that's this shape and pin out is gonna be compatible. Um, and then you can see from the 3D view, uh, it's got like the, the mounting tabs, it's got the screw holes, and it's got the socket connector. And it's a pretty good price. I mean, like in quantity, it gets to be about a dollar. Um, so check this out. This is the ADF15AKG T2S. Uh, lots of them in stock, and um, this will fit perfectly in the standard pinout shape that I've got here for my uh, joystick connector. And that's a great search.